My lock of the week, and I've never done this before uh, since we've been doing this show, uh, I typically try to stay away from the game because it gets a little bit skewed. You know, can't see the forest from the trees. You're a little bit close uh, up. My lock of the week is LSU, getting six and a half points. And I like LSU for a, a number of reasons. Number one, they've only been beaten more than that three times in the Les Miles era in ten years. I think everybody knows Les Miles' record in Tiger Stadium. I think LSU is on the come. I think Alabama has struggled a little bit on the road. I think that there's enough plays to be made out there by the LSU run game. I think if they ran at Ole Miss, I think if Alabama was run on by Tennessee, and this is the you know the most recent samples that we have, I think that LSU will be able to run the football enough to keep this thing close, and I think actually that they're going to win the game straight up. So you give me a good team, and I think right now LSU is a good team, and good with a chance to be great, I don't know. But give me LSU at home getting six and a half points against an Alabama team that's only been so-so on the road. But there's another reason that I think that LSU is not only going to keep it close but win tomorrow night, and I think it's at stadium that we're looking at across behind Memorial Tower. You can kind of feel it has been building in Baton Rouge this week. It's a love for LSU, and it is an absolute hatred for Alabama. And there is a reason. You're going to have to give me a little bit more time here, uh, guy with the stick, because there is a good reason to dislike these people, okay? There is a good reason to dislike this team. In fact, there's a lot of them. The fact that they dictate who they play against, the fact that they dictate when they play, the fact that they can dictate geography, or didn't you know that Missouri is east of the state of Alabama? You know, there's a reason that there's a scholarship limit in the NCAA today. It's so that offensive linemen don't end up on swimming grand in age. You know where that started? It started at the University of Alabama. You cannot like them because they fabricate statistics. How many national championships have they won? I don't know what that number is, but they're claiming twice that many. You can hate them because Patrick Peterson's foot was in bounds. You can hate them because Oklahoma State got screwed. You can hate them because there was a Christmas Day press conference in Florida. Remember the ditch diggers? You can hate them because of that. You can remember a disappointed mother and a teenage girl with a bow on the hood of her new Mercedes. You know where the NCAA manual got written? got written in Tuscaloosa because most of the rules they've got were based on things that Alabama had broken. Or don't the names Albert Means and Antonio Langham mean anything to you? You know the guy that makes the league schedules? Went to Alabama. You know the president of the NCAA? Once hired the coach at Alabama. You know this is the most entitled and delusional fan base in the history of organized sports? And remember that this is the team that will get every break from every official, every administrator, every committee member, literally anyone in authority in college football is looking for any advantage that they can give to these people. Remember that when you go in and scream your head off in Tiger Stadium tomorrow night. LSU's my lock of the week. Back on the other side, Sports Today, 104.5, 104.9 ESPN Baton Rouge.